This is Twit. So I think uh, <laughs> our, it's time for a little beer, just between you and me. And you have picked yeah. the weirdest beer I've ever heard of. <laughs> I tried oh. to pick a very unusually Holy named beer cow. for the pick of the week. Well, it's from a company that makes unusually named beers. I mean, they that's, do. That's what Evil Twin does. They're all yes. strange. They're all very odd names. Yeah. Evil Twin um, is a famous gypsy brewery based in Denmark, but also in Brooklyn, here in Brooklyn. So we get a lot of their beers here. Um, my pick is called Sumo in a Sidecar. That's the real name. <laughs> that is amazing. And, okay, here's why they call it that. It's an IPA, a basic um, fruity IPA made with apricots, but they add a little unami twist. That's why they call it sumo. Umami and so, is the fifth taste, right? You've got it is. Did you say umami or unami? Umami. Unam umami. Really? Umami. Umami, it, sorry. Um, umami. Umami. What do they like throw some MSG into the bottle? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I don't know what they have in it, but when you drink it, you're like, there's something like a little zip at the end. You're like, oh, what is that? Um I don't I didn't really want to look at the ingredient list because I was scared it might be like meat. I hope it's coal ash. There's some meat. <laughs> coal ash. Um, well, it could be seaweed. Umami is a, oh, yeah, a seaweed, could be seaweed flavor. Yeah. That's true. It was really a good. Swim? And it's surprising. It's that little surprise at the end. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, if you, any evil twin beer is usually amazing. Um, but this Sumo and a sidecar, very, very good. Very unusual Fair. IPA. It's just bizarre sounding. <laughs> I mean, can I buy this within the state of Pennsylvania? I bet you can. They distribute pretty widely with Evil Twin these days. <laughs> And I want to yep. uh, I want to put in a plug for a video that I watched. Oh yeah. On how to properly pour a beer. Oh Ooh. boy. Apparently we've been <laughs> doing it wrong all the I, time. This oh. doesn't surprise me in the slightest. <laughs> well, you know how sometimes you get that kind of gassy, bloated feeling when you drink a beer every day. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that's because you know you're seeing these guys so carefully pour it to give it the minimum amount of head. <laughs> <laughs> which means all the carbon dioxide still in the beer. Yeah. And uh, so this was, I, I can't find it. It was somebody, you know, like I trust, mm -hmm. saying yeah. you want to pour it and you want to really kind of mix it up because you want to get that carbon dioxide out for a number that's, of reasons. There's flavor, there's flavor in yep. there. Uh, and you don't want to be drinking the equivalent of two and a half bottles worth of carbon dioxide. So you're almost saying that, like wine, it it pays to oxygenate it. Yeah. You know, in other words. That, yeah, almost. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Now I know that hmm. stouts and other beer might have some issues. So right. you know, but but I think what what people have been doing, you know, because that's I think maybe they got that from when you have a Guinness, you kind of very carefully gingerly. Yeah. 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 But yeah. Uh, I think that most of the beers huh. that we drink, and it makes sense because you don't sure. want that full. I don't know. They probably do it right at Rattle and Hum. I'm thinking they know exactly what they're doing. <laughs> I would think they would know, yeah. but um, yeah. who knows? But you're talking, when, when you say pour a beer, you mean... Uh, Into a glass. In, in any way you might do it, from a tap, from a bottle, from yeah. a can? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you go to a good uh, place, they, there's a big bunch of foam on the top. Sometimes they have That's that, true. Yeah. that they ruler shave them they off scoop and they kinda, off with they'll it. They'll actually yeah. let it run yeah. and let the right. foam run out. Yeah. You yeah. want you yeah. want some... You want yep. to uh, You want to get that CO2 out of there. Mm -hmm. And then he was, but it is, there's a value to it because you do get some of the flavors are coming up in there. And, mm. and so Leo, I believe it. Ask him I at Rattle too. and Hum. I, and I, this, in fact, this what sounds... I would suggest is have them pour four or five glasses. Mm -hmm. yes. I agree. Just as a test. Just as and a test. And check it. Yeah. yeah. There's no reason so. to charge anyone. It's just a test for science. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, the other thing a lot of people don't realize is, you know, a lot of beers that have uh, yeast in them, like Saison's especially, there, there's always yeast in the bottom of the of the bottle. And right. a lot of people are like, ooh, I don't want that. It's like sediment. Oh, no, but if you that. shake it up, it's delicious. And you shake should it pour up. It into your yeah, like that's like when you it. cook a hamburger and the blood comes out of it. That's the best part. You want that part. <laughs> you that's, gotta... that's how I feel. I, I know. Yeah. And Mary Jo probably doesn't quite identify I was like, with yeah. that. <laughs> well, you know, like um, Avery, if you look at their White Rascal bottle, will yeah. say pour it out about four-fifths of the way. Yeah. Then swirl the remainder to get oh. that stuff into the liquid yeah. and then pour oh. that out. Nice. Yeah, because yeah, you want to get it out of the bottle. Yeah. You do. Okay, this is good. This is all useful. This is a new tip of the week: beer yeah, pouring beer tip pouring. of the week. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. That's that was way better than my tips. <laughs> <laughs>